150 years ago, the world's first socialist revolution shook a Paris, with thousands killed and important monuments destroyed. Now, a controversial commemoration by the city's mayor is seen as being more about leftist ideology. Our France correspondent David Vivez has more on this. Marking the first communist revolution is not an easy thing. 150 years have passed since the Paris Commune. The socialist uprising in 1871 involved around 6,000 revolutionaries who confiscated weapons and took over the city. It was suppressed after a month by Republican troops. Between 7,000 and 20,000 people died in the fighting. There were many revolutions in France over the 19th century. We had the impression at the time when revolutionaries took to the streets in Paris, they can overthrow the head of state at any time. This was not the case at the Commune. It all ended up in a huge bloodbath. The Commune also destroyed buildings, fine art, important architecture, statues and monuments. Paris socialist mayor decided to celebrate and commemorate the Commune. It is also celebrated now at the French Parliament. But this is controversial. For some, this commemoration is about leftist ideology. According to Choiseul, this is part of an agenda. Today's extreme left and leftist movements consider the Commune as a symbol of what they want to achieve, whereas the rest of the country sees it as a huge catastrophe. In the 1870s, more than a dozen of the most renowned French writers openly criticized the Paris Commune, calling it frightful. These top minds likened the uprising to an apocalypse, a biblical catastrophe, and something pushed by a supernormal entity. They went on to say that the old red flag of the communists showed their lust for blood. According to Maxime Ducamp, the revolutionaries, quote, just obeyed to their own wicked emotions. French author Théophile Gautier wrote, the revolutionaries were the people that society could not manage. Those who have a lust for blood, a craving to steal. In the last week of the commune, when revolutionaries knew they were about to lose, they took refuge on the hill, pointed the cannons at the capital and shot at the troops coming to them, destroying the city. Still, the Paris Commune was considered an example to follow by communist leaders such as Marx, Mao Zedong and Lenin. Karl Marx quoted the Commune as something very important. This was the first confirmation of the theories he wrote. According to another historian, the cancel culture that is growing around the world might be the legacy of the first communist revolution. David Vives, NTD News, Paris.